Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Every week I think I'm going to try and go through this awesome book. It's the Skaven Uniforms and Heraldry um, book of Skaven. And basically this book is all about different clans that you don't see in your army book. Um, it's not about like army lists or anything like that point wise. It's all just pure fluff. So I think every week along with the magic items reviews, I'm going to try and go through a different clan. Ones that kind of caught my eye or my favourite ones that look in it. And uh, just go over and, go and try and think of some uh, conversion ideas that I'd like to do. So um, with that said, this week's one is... So this week we have Clan Scurvy. Um, as if the Skaven needed a pirate type of clan. Uh, they're not rootless enough. These guys are pretty rootless if they're pirates. Um, clan Scurvy control the largest Skaven clan fleet. Um, coming out of Spineport. Um, and basically these guys are like the rootless for like they had the scaven are rootless but these pirate guys are probably the next level of them and um, i'd love to see these guys in an army book i really would i think that's an awesome idea and it's definitely something i want to try and convert up a little small unit in the future Um yeah so basically you have your captains which this guy's called here i'll zoom in a bit get a better look this guy's called a sea lord um, it says no captain keeps command for long unless he is utterly rootless. Um, like everybody in this on the ship is they're like mutiny everywhere. Your captains are going to get killed if they're not, you know, pretty rootless. As I says, they're going to have to be like that to keep on top of scaven slaves and all other guys on the ships. Um, there's something else in this as well as on the say. Uh, yeah, they're like salvaging wrecks off the coast of the Isle of Sirens, so they want to have a lot of gold on this ship. Um, which is kind of cool for a conversion idea if you want to put like on their bases. Basically the idea I had for these guys was, if you put them on like wooden planks and then that kind of, like have your square. And then on the edge, kind of like the side of a boat. Like just if they're looking out over and then guys in the back rank would just be like on, you know, like wooden part of whatever the boat is made out of. Well not, well it's made out of wood but... You know, just like wooden planks to be walking across and all other parts from the boat. Um, as for the, I love the colours. Um, this is the the banner to have here. I don't like this banner as much, but I love the colours. I think the, the kind of yellow, the kind of darkish yellow is really nice. I think the bones going across is nice. I'm not too bothered about the symbol in the middle. This one down here is the one I was thinking of more. That middle one. It's like the horned rat with the two bones, or yeah, the two bones coming from behind it. So that's definitely the colours I would go for with these guys. Um, there's the other ones. I think the black and the yellow is nice. That one there, that middle one up on the top. Um, the red and yellow, and I don't, I, know, I don't like that one. That one's pretty nice, except painting them that size is going to be an absolute nightmare. Uh, so let's have a look at the guys in this. You have your. Let's have a look. This guy. The Sea Lord. Which I'd rather call it. I gotta know what a Sea Lord is. And the fluff part here it says Claw Captain. So I'd, I'd rather stick to the name Claw Captain. One of the best things this guy has is pretty awesome. This little uh, rat parrot guy. Which is something. I'd imagine there's a lot of. Little small rats you can get in the scaven parts from like the help of the abomination, the doom wheel. And I imagine if you just put like some green stuff, little small wings like that on them, it'd look pretty awesome. That's something I definitely want to do for my claw captain. Um, this guy does not a whole lot that kind of shows him like a pirate, just a lot of armor on him um, and a halberd. So, um, let's zoom out a bit for these guys. Again, these guys don't really show much like what the pirates except a small few things, but really noticeable things in that kind of way. Like the yellow sticking with the same color is really nice. Um, and then if you want to do like mix a different color, there's like brown that goes with it. So it looks so yellow one kind of brown is the colors you want to be going for. Um, I think if you're going to go for weapons, I I wouldn't like to have the spears or halberds. I'd like more swords. Each guy to have a sword or at least a dagger. 
and this guy here has a peg leg. Uh, I have done like a peg leg before and the um and the zombies gave him but it was just like a bone coming down over his leg as if his legs had to rotten away. So then I just changed up into a wooden one that'd be pretty nice. Um this guy's pretty much like the first one, there's not much on him. That can you know kinda of show him piratey type. Now this guy he has the war fire drawer. Now this is what got me thinking. There's another one back here that I spotted. Um that I think might look a bit more piratey. This guy is has the rattling gun. No, I don't have a rattling gun model. But I think I had an idea for a rattling gun. Whereas if you take I don't have a rattling gun, so I'm gonna what would I do? I I suppose I'd have to convert up to the clan rat guy and stick a cannon there. Because on boats you just see like mostly cannons get a shot across. Um so I have a spare dwarf cannon. You know when you get to make the organ gun or you get to make the cannon for the dwarf. So I made the organ gun so I have a cannon left over, just the cannon can the barrel of it. So I'd put that there and replace it that. So instead of shooting it'd be a rattling gun if you're using it in games wise, but just for looking at it, it's like he's uh, shooting a small cannon, which I think would be pretty awesome. I think it looks I think it fit in really well with it. Um this guy's like a plague monk or something like that, I'd imagine. Um, because I, I recognise the weapon, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's, it's the weapon that they have. Um, now here you go, there's the Warlock Engineer with the pirates. I think, I never thought about a Warlock, war, uh, warlock Engineer with him. But um, it shows him with a Doom Rocket. Now, if anyone knows the Doom Rocket from the Magic Items, which is something that I'm really I'm wanting to review soon because it's pretty awesome. But the sounds of the fluff, it, it sounds like massive. This thing's like it's just pretty much like a stick with a, like a rocket on the end of it, which is it is pretty awesome. So um, if I want to model up a Doom Rocket, that's something I want to look at. And um, the armor on this guy, it kind of fits in with the yellowy bronze. He has the yellow going underneath his neck there. So I think you could either. Well, he's he is a warlock, so I was going to say the, sil the higher up guys could have silver armor, the rest of them could have bronze. But um, even if I want to do all bronze, it does fit in with the yellow by the looks of it there. So um, that's kind of that's another good idea to look for. Um, these guys now, this guy has the, the kind of the yellow triangles, so it shows if you want to use it more brown and just a little bit of yellow, it can be done like that, and it looks pretty nice. Um, that could work pretty easily as well. Um, this guy caught me eye because on his well, his left hand, I don't know whether that's a bit of cloth or something he's holding on to, but it looks like it could be a replacement of a hand. Which brings me on to the guy onto the bottom. This guy is the chieftain, which is, he'd be like the second in command, I think, in the Skaven army. And, zoom in a bit better. Now this guy really looks the pirate part because look, his hand is a hook, which is something you could do throughout the whole unit, um, because you to really kind of make him look like pirates. And then in his other hand, he has um, like a telescope, and I I can't think of any parts I'd have to make that, but just it, it's awesome. It's really nice. That's something we definitely want to put in on a chieftain guy, or a guy. Remember I said like if you want to put him at the front with like the barrier for the boat, um. Make sure the guy in the front would have that, so he's looking out of it. And then you have this guy here with a sword. I think the swords would suit this clan scurvy a lot more than kind of the halberds or that guy. Well, that one's actually not bad. Um, like a maul or a mace, I can't remember what to call it. It's like swinging around, but it looks a lot better than this guy. You know, the pirate type of swords look a lot better. And then um, this guy, you can see the side of the shield, so that's what the shield will look like with the mana. With the horned rat and the bones coming through it. And then again, they have like a different colour, they have white instead of brown, so you can go with that either. Um, I think I'd rather stick to the um, the black squares maybe, or the black triangles. But um, I, don't, I don't think that's going to make too much difference to the bottom. As long as you have the main yellow in it, it'll look pretty decent. It'll fit in pretty good. Just one of the things I noticed... I noticed when I was looking at the clan scurvy, they all have like black nails. Um, and I thought it was just like these guys to show like how dirty they are. You know like you hear pirates like they're filthy and everything. But um, it's the same within the whole book. Like this guy here has black nails, they all have black nails. And I thought it was just something for clan scurvy. I always painted like the nails of the skaven kind of bony colour. 
but I think for definite I'm going to be just giving the black nails to give them like that dirty pirate look so I'm um, so that's about it I think as far as I think I talked about all the conversion ideas I had for base and try and give them pirate weapons definitely I think you could do a lot more rusted armor the weapons need to be a bit more rusted and um, because scaven weapons aren't really like they're kind of rusted old and used anyway so I think pirate ones definitely could be like that unless you want to do like a rich pirate clan that kind of way so um, I think that's it yeah I'll leave this I was going to say nice and sharp but yeah there's nearly 10 minutes I've been rambling on for 10 minutes so I'll leave it at that let me know what you guys think of clan scurvy I think it's one of the best uh, clans in this book I think they're an awesome idea and it's something that I really want to do in the future I'd like to start off doing like 5 man unit just to kind of get the idea of it and get the feel for it and take it from there then so uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, the Skaven uniforms and heraldry clan reviews first week clan scurvy let me know what you guys think hit the like button leave a comment below and uh, if you haven't subscribed and uh, I'll try and do this like a weekly thing I know I have the magic items review don't go on weekly so I'll try and do this on like the an alternate day I won't do it the same day so uh, who knows what's going to be next week thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time